Six minutes. <laughs> Classic burn. Hey everybody, Steve Byrne here coming to you from my garage. Now why am I coming to you from my garage? This garage has great mojo. Great vibe in here. I love it. And I thought it's a great place, A, to share with you the fact that I have a feature film I wrote and directed called The Opening Act coming out very soon. I'll share the release date very soon with you. Um, it's autobiographical. It's a love letter to the profession I know and love called stand-up comedy. And I can't wait for you guys to check it out. So in the upcoming weeks, I'm going to be sharing a lot of stuff with you about the film. Now that being said, this garage is where I sat down and wrote The Opening Act. So I'm really, really Happy to be in this space, um, and this is where it kind of all started. Let me show you around, show you some stuff in this uh, personal Applebee's of mine. So this right here is a cue card from The Tonight Show. And the reason I kept that up is that I've done The Tonight Show 10 times, and this is the one cue card I wanted because of all the guests I was most impressed by was John McCain. This was just after he lost the election to Barack Obama. Uh, the show obviously ran long because Jay had a ton of questions for him. And the reason I kept this is because he stayed afterwards and took pictures with everybody in the audience, backstage. He was there for three hours. And I know because I was the last, my dressing room was towards the exit. He stayed and took pictures with everybody and I waited three hours to get a picture with him that day. And that's from that day. So I did Vince Vaughn's Wild West Comedy Show. Sebastian, Ahmed Ahmed, Brett Ernst, myself. Um, this is the reason I'm friends with Vince Vaughn, is because he had me on these shows. These shows were some of the funnest shows I've ever done in Las Vegas to this day. Here I got to skate with my idol, Mario Lemieux. Being a big Pittsburgh Penguins fan, Bill Burr and I performed stand-up comedy at his uh, fantasy camp. The guys had skated, I think, two or three games during the day. They had all been drinking during dinner, and then we went up, so it was a long day. And needless to say, I don't think they were as energetic as a normal crowd would be. And it's always disheartening when your hero comes backstage and goes, Ugh, tough one, boys, eh? It's like, oh my god, fuck. Down here, this could be one of my favorite, this is probably my favorite piece in the, in my garage. Steve Byrne made a man shit his pants. <laughs> the Punchline Sacramento early show, January 22nd, 2010. There's a piece of shit right there. <laughs> there I am, right next to it. So this picture was actually taken by a good friend, Colin Jost, who actually has a book out right now called The Very Punchable Face, which I highly recommend you get. I, I'm almost done with it, and I've laughed out loud so goddamn hard at that book. It's really fucking good. Anyways, he came to the show. I made a lot, guy laugh so hard, he actually shit his pants at the 8 o'clock show. When security came over, because of complaints, people complaining, this smells like shit. They tapped him on the shoulder, he got up and ran out, and he ran past the line for the 10 o'clock show, the next show. And as he ran, the shit fell out of his pants and fell on the ground. And as soon as I came off stage, Colin let me know, and he's like, you gotta come here. And he took this picture, and he sent me this black. So this is, this is literally one of the proudest things I've ever done in stand-up comedy, because it's hard to make somebody laugh. It's even harder to make somebody shit their pants. Which brings us to the script. Da, da, da. This is the actual script I use, my shooting script. And I kept it in this binder. Now on the cover, you'll see Dean Martin. Now why is Dean Martin on here? Dean Martin is hands down one of my idols. I worship Dean Martin. Um, and Dean Martin is from Steubenville. I'm from Pittsburgh. And when I was looking to set the film in a city where eventually our hero is going to end up at the Pennsylvania Improv, Pittsburgh Improv, um, why not have him come from somewhere in the area? I thought, what better place than Steubenville, Ohio, to pay homage to one of the greatest, Dean Martin. Now, inside, I still have my two name tags. I reached out to a few, few friends of mine that have directed feature films. One of them, Neil Brennan, who is actually in the film. He plays Chip, the club manager. And he suggested that everybody wear name tags so you know everybody's names. And I thought that was such a great thing to do. And it was nice and respectful instead of going, hey, pal, hey, buddy, hey, Mikey. My name's not Ricky. That's right, it's Ralph. It's not Ralph. Whatever, sugar tits. This was a nice way to get through it. So I thank Neil Brennan for that. Look, there's the script right there. Basically, 
All the recollections, misadventures, triumphs, and losses in my last 23 years are all encapsulated right here in script form, and hopefully we did a good enough job that we translated it into feature film form that you guys can enjoy. So over the course of the next few weeks, I'll be sharing a lot of memories, behind the scenes things, and um, getting you hopefully as excited as I am for the release of the opening act coming very, very 